Hey, good afternoon. How's it going? Um, what I want to do today is start out a series of videos about landed costs. Down below, you'll see a video for a training session I did a couple of years ago, walking through a lot of this. But, you know, it's an hour and a half video, so I thought I'd break it down into some smaller chunks. So this video, we're going to walk through some of the basic setup, um, some of the real basic things in landed costs so that we can set up what's called a um, a trade operation. Um, and then I'll show you these setups in the trade operation. And then we'll go from there. We'll talk about how to set up um, in the additional videos, we'll talk about setting up PPV, I'm sorry, standard costs and how we get PPV and how landed cost affects average and actual cost. So there's a series of um, videos on landed costs because it is kind of a, it's kind of a complex concept. So the first thing we need to do is set up what are called charge names. We'll set up um, reference types and routes. And routes are optional, but they're kind of good to have on a trade operation. I'll show that. So to do that, we start with a super user where we can get into the setup and maintenance. So the first thing will be the charge names. Charge names are the different charges that we're going to put on a trade operation, things like insurance, freight, customs, duty, storage, you know, whatever those happen to be that we're going to be paying as we move our product from um, our supplier to our warehouse. So manage charge names. I always go into the basic search from the task because then I don't have to remember which subject area it goes into. And I'll click the search here and talk about what we have. The, the system comes seated with four uh, charge names created, discount, freight, insurance, miscellaneous. I've created storage. So the way to create um, a um, charge name is we just click the plus button. And I like to use the common set because it goes across everything. We can put in... Uh, yeah, I know I have to put in brokerage as an example. Brokerage fees. And you don't have to put in um, descriptions, especially if you can't type like I can. Um, you can put in default apply tax, don't apply tax, all those kinds of things. This is really simple to set up a charge name. And then we're going to go ahead and um, save and close that out. So that's a charge name. Go back in, search, and you'll see brokerage on here now. So I can now use brokerage, almost use brokerage over into the trade operation. So close. The next thing we'll walk through is... Um, what's called the reference landed cost reference types. Reference types are references for trade documents um, that are executed as part of a trade operation. Um, we can set these up here. Again, we'll do a search on these. So here's some of the different um, reference types that we can have. Again, um, we have brokerage already here. Uh, it's just set it up and create it. I'm gonna go ahead and click that off. Storage is one I created earlier as well. So these are just different reference types. Um, <clears throat> and it's the indicate default business documents that drive the charge. And this is optional, you don't have to set these up, but I just wanted to show you where it was at. And then the last thing is um, manage our trade routes. And again, this is just, um, again, a man, uh, optional step that you can set up, um, a way to segregate your trade operations um, on the different routes you might have. I just set up, called it China One. It's coming from Shanghai to San Francisco. It's just a way to um, label and put a bucket around some of this stuff. So again, these are optional and then go ahead and save and close. So what does this do in landed cost? So if we go over into landed cost, 
which resides in receipt accounting. So and I'm logged in as a, a cost accounting person, but it's in receipt accounting under tasks. It's down here with all these great things down here. In fact, at the end of the series of videos, I'll actually do a walkthrough of a complete, if you will, demo of setting up and using landed costs and how to um, attach invoices to it and all those kinds of things. But for now, let's just take a look at a trade operation. I have one created here, just kind of as a placeholder. Um, a trade operation really is a bucket of costs. It could be a container, um, it could be total freight costs for a period of time between two points. Uh, it's just, as you go through your implementation, you have to kind of decide what is this container of costs going to represent? So again, um, here's the route that I set up. Um, if you do the drop down, you'll notice there's only one because we only had one set up. And then we have different charges here. Freight insurance discount, these are all seated in the system. So we can go ahead and um, create another charge here. Another day, I'll go through this screen, all the different things like uh, charge basis, um, allocation basis, some different things like that. But so the business unit in this case is US business unit one, business unit, the charge name, I'm going to put storage fees out here. You'll notice that here's the brokerage fees that we added, the storage fees. Charge basis, I'm just going to say per unit. If you notice, you have aggregate percent, variable, all kinds of cool things here. But just per unit, and my rate is going to be a dollar per unit. My supplier, uh, for lack of somebody else, because I know these supplies is out here, um, but this is whoever your supplier is in China. Um, and it could be a China address. In this case, it's not for this. Um, but that's how the charge is set up. Um, we'll talk later about charge references. This is set up to be able to attach the AP invoices that are going to be coming in to this trade operation so you can get actual versus some um, estimates, et cetera. So again, that's a simple setup for this to make it work. Um, I uh, need a charge basis unit of measure. Um, probably didn't set up each. Search on each. And I think I need an allocation basis. It's going to be based on quantity. And I think that's everything. Then we'll save and close that. missed another one here it is so now we've set up we have four potential charges coming in for this trade route on this trade operation um, so again uh, we set up the charge names we showed how to do reference and we showed how to create uh, route names to basically um, be able to sort and um, containerize our landed costs. So the next video will go over some other things like setting standards and how this process I just did plays into how we set up our standards. Hope that was helpful.